No, I think the reason I want to do a pop art show was that it really came from thinking about Australian art in the 1960s and realising that we had quite a really sort of dynamic pop scene here which hasn't been shown and then looking at international pop from that period seeing the connections and realising that Australian art had never been shown with international pop art so that's where that desire came from. And for you, Glenn, now coming to Chuck Close. It's interesting, isn't it, because Chuck's operating, maybe he's a generation younger than the pop artists. And I wouldn't call Chuck a pop artist. And he worked with photorealism, which sometimes people consider as maybe a, a second wave of pop art. But he was definitely much more part of the minimalist and conceptualist group within New York. Wayne, I'm super excited about Look Mickey and how you got your hands on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look Mickey, of course, is Lichtenstein's first ever comic book painting. It's in the National Gallery in Washington. Um, and uh, what can I say? It took quite some curatorial arm wrestling to secure that work. Um, the National Gallery, when I met with them, said I could have one key work from their collection. So I chose the most important pop painting they had. <laughs> <laughs> the National Gallery of Australia purchased in the 1970s yes. Chuck's first print called Keith, and it's a mezzo tint. Mm. Incredibly complicated way of making a print. And we're also having, is coming from the National Gallery, is their major painting, Bob, which is one of which is Chuck's great work. Sort of first series of photorealist portraits. Yeah. And Bob is supposedly the most popular painting in the National Gallery. Yes, no, I feel a little bit sorry for the National Gallery because we've taken quite a few of their major pop works as well. So. Well, it's an amazing collection, <laughs> so it's good that that's all coming. I think something with our show, which is another connection with your show, is I've actually, quite a few of the pop artists in the late 60s, early 70s got interested in realism. So we've got a David Hockney from 72, which is much more realist than his earlier work. We've got Dwayne Hanson included as well, which is pure realism. So just looking at those connections and synergies will really connect nicely across to Chuck Close, I think. Yeah, I think they're going to be a good pair. Yes. A lot of the pop images, when you see them reproduced, they're so flat. Yes. But when you actually see them in the flesh, you realise someone made that. Yes. And it's the same with Chucks. When you actually see it, you realise, oh no, there's a hand in there somewhere. You have that real sense of the artist's presence and the making of the work. I think it's going to be fascinating in next year's Archibald Prize, seeing how many Chuck Close entries we get. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot. <laughs>